You're looking for creative ways to level up your edits, aren't we all? Well, then you're in luck, because today I'll show you 10 editing tricks in Adobe Premiere Pro. Trick 1. So, you have this cool text layer on your video, but you want to make it a little bit more readable. Let me show you a super cool trick. Head over to the effects library and find the Gaussian blur effect. Click and drag it on your original video. With your clip selected, go to the effect controls and increase the blurriness. Next, click the rectangle mask button and as you can see, you'll get a blurry rectangle. You can click and drag to select multiple points of the mask and drag them to the left to make it bigger. If you hold down shift, the mask points will only adjust on the axis you're dragging. Do that until it creates a beautiful box around your text. Then, to make the effect look like glass, make sure to turn down the mask feather. You can then use it to create cool animations like this. Trick number two, the letter by letter animation. So this one is much easier than you think. So when you have your text right here, make sure it's in the middle of the frame. Hold down control and click and drag your text to center it. Next, go to the effects library and find the crop effect. Drag it on the text layer. In the effect controls, click the crop effect and go to the program monitor. In here, crop the text so that only the first letter is visible. Once that's done, find the transform effect and drag it on the clip as well. Now, as you can see, if we adjust the vertical property, the crop will be ignored. To fix that, make sure to drag the crop on top of the transform effect. Next, create a super simple position animation like this to make the text jump into frame. Of course, make sure to ease your keyframe and to increase the shutter angle for a natural motion blur. All right. Awesome. Now, once this is done, go to the timeline and duplicate the text layer. Then make sure it's selected and go to the effect controls. Now adjust the crop so that the second letter is visible. Now, of course, we don't want them to come in at the same time. So to offset them, select the top text layer and nudge it two or three frames forward in time. Now do the same thing for every letter until you have this stair effect. And that looks super cool. Trick number three, saving adjustment layers as presets. Let's say you created this awesome transition here. And of course you want to save it. To do that, select the adjustment layers and right click them. Then choose nest. Call it transition or something. Then once it's saved, you can find the nested sequence back in the project panel. If you drag it in the timeline, it will of course drag the entire sequence in there. To fix that, make sure to disable insert and overwrite. If you now drag it in the timeline, it will only drag the contents into the timeline, which in our case is the transition. If you create a project template with all your transitions in, you'll never have to create them again. Trick 4. Reverse a sound effect and use it as a build-up. Look at this torch whoosh. Very nice, but I would like to fade it in first. To create that effect, hold down Alt and duplicate the torch sound effect. Then drag it to the left. Now right click it, choose speed and duration, and then make sure reverse is checked. Now snap it back against the original clip, click right in between the two clips and hit Shift plus D on your keyboard. This will create a crossfade. Make sure to tweak it a little and listen to that. Sounds awesome. Trick 5. Check out the complete Cinecom bundle, where you will get unrestricted access to all the courses and packs we ever created. All of this is worth more than $3,000, but now for a limited time, you can get all of this for just $197. These courses, bundles and packs will help you become successful as a content creator and video editor. With Premiere courses, After Effects courses, Lumetri, and 9 other courses, you can create everything you can imagine. Guys, this bundle is a shortcut for you. You can skip 10 years of struggling by just taking these courses and downloading the packs. Oh, and all of this will stay updated, so new courses will be added and you don't have to pay for that, it's just a one-time payment. No subscription. Click the link down below to learn more. Trick number six, creative mask transitions. This is super simple. Let's use my screen recording as an example. So make sure your clip is selected. Then in the effects library, find the crop effect and drag it on your screencast. Now in the effect controls, select the crop effect and go to the program monitor. Now adjust the crop to a point where the panels separate. For example, in between the program monitor and the timeline. Now in the timeline, duplicate your video and select the second one. Then invert the crop by only showing the timeline. Now you can animate them separately. To do that, find the transform effect and drag it on both your clips. On the top clip, go to the effect controls and create a simple position animation to make the timeline appear from the bottom. Of course, as always, make sure to ease the last keyframe and then don't forget to increase the shutter angle to introduce motion blur. Now do the same thing for the other clip and boom, you just created a super unique transition from, for example, from your B-roll into the screencast. That's awesome, right? Trick 7. Create a clean and simple 
simple background for your animations. I use this one a lot. So first, go to the project panel and click the new item button. Then choose color mat. Set the color to white and click on OK. There we go. Now once you have it, drag it into the timeline. Now with your clip selected, head over to the Lumetri color panel. In here, scroll all the way down to vignette. Expand it and decrease the amount. This is a perfect background for a Premiere animation like this. Again, I use it all the time. Trick number eight, get rid of clashing frequencies. Ever had a background track on your voiceover, but no matter how much you turn down the volume, it will stay annoying. To fix that, find an equalizer in the effects library and drag it on your music clip. Then with that clip selected, go to the effect controls and click on edit to open up the EQ. Now enable the high pass band and drag it a little to the left. This will get rid of the super low and a small part of the low bass frequencies. Most phones nowadays have an action preset, which kind of does the same thing. You can also turn down a band somewhere in the lower mids. This will give your voice more breathing room. Most phones nowadays have an action preset, which kind of does the same thing. And that sounds awesome. Trick number nine and 10. You should really master After Effects by clicking these two videos right here on my left. I recommend you should start with the lightsaber one. That one's really cool. Go. <laughs> Goodbye.